we had a very great time talking about a lot of their music videos and a lot of things that go behind closed scenes and closed doors. You wouldn't want to miss it. Check it out. Here's what they had to say. Hey guys, we are here with Hillbilly Harold from Los Angeles. How's it going guys? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Can you give a moment to introduce yourselves? I'm Jimmy Harold of Hillbilly Harold. Adam Wolf, I'm the bass player. So you guys, tell me about the music video, Shame On Me. Where was that taking place at? That was uh, on the outskirts of LA. Um, it was uh, an old ranch. They used to shoot uh, old western films out there. And they had a whole bunch of different sets. And uh, we grabbed the, the old uh, Mexican Pueblo set. Who's, whose ranch was that? I forget. It, it used to belong to, uh, oh, I think it was like Gene Autry. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. All right. Yeah, right. So how long did it take for you guys to do all that together and, and put all the extra actors and, you know? We did it fairly quick. Yeah, we had a we did a Kickstarter campaign that Adam. I have to take my hat off to him because he really ran with that. Um, I think it took we had a month, right? Mm -hmm. And I literally wrote the concept in about ten minutes. Yeah. Right. So what was the weather like? Was it hot or cold? What it was got it? Got a little cold as, as it you know yeah. got darker and yeah the, the extras were actually got to freezing and uh, <laughs> they had to wait outside. It was well, a nice day though. Wasn't yeah, really the, during the day it was good. When yeah. did we shoot that? Was it April or something? Yeah, so it was nice. Yeah. It was really nice. So who directed the whole thing? Uh, Elon Sharon. He's a buddy of mine. He's done a bunch of commercials, some short films. He's great. He's, He's really good. He did a great job. Yeah. What is your favorite uh, brand of guitars? Well, it's funny you should say that because I recently came out with my own model. Okay. Hard Luck Kings. The model, is, it's a bass. It's called the Wolf. Okay. It's, uh, it's pretty much a P bass, just a, like a Fender Precision bass, but... I changed the shape of it. I designed it mm -hmm. to uh, to a drawing I did back in tenth grade. Oh wow! Wow, <laughs> that was way okay. I, I, I barely graduated high school. Yeah. Just every day I would yeah. draw guitars and basses and just fantasize about designing my own instrument. And I finally got to do it. Are you gonna so market it sometime? It, it's not my company, but okay. Hard Luck Kings is, is a company that I worked with, and they just released it. So that's pretty sick. Yeah. I mean, really? What's the color of it? It's a it's a three tone sunburst. You can check it out on uh, hardluckkings.com. Mm -hmm. They, they got it for sale favorite. up there. So Jimmy, can you tell me who would you like to be in concert with or go on tour with? Well, I, I think that I pretty much. I mean, Guns N' Roses was my biggest influence. So mm -hmm. you know, getting to work with Slash and, and have him as a you know a mentor and, and and to tour with him was I mean. It, you know, the only way it could get any better than that is if it was Guns N' Roses. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, without stepping out of line, I hope that happens one day. <laughs> it's, I mean, to me, that, that's my legs up on my Beatles, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, getting to work with him, it was amazing, you know. Yeah. I, I, that was it, you know. I, I mean, we toured with Steel Panther, too, and I have to say that those guys were amazing. Mm -hmm. it was That was a whole lot of fun. You know, we were kind of all got along really well. And, you know, not that we didn't with Slash, but Slash is such, you know, he has to do so much radio and you don't really get to see him that much. They're kind of busy. But yeah. with Steel Panther, we all played football in the parking lots and, yeah. and you know, played jokes on each other. Yeah. And, you know. Well, speaking of Slash and guitars, you're the bass man, so who would you like to perform with, you know, guitars? Yeah. Um. I mean, it doesn't really get much better than Slash and, <laughs> and, and Russ from Steel Panther. That guy's a freaking guitar god, and I mean, they're all super talented guys. I mean, I'd like to do like ZZ Top would be cool. Yeah, ZZ Top, I, I love. You know, I'd love uh, to meet Billy Gibbons. And, you know, there's there's Aerosmith. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, there's there's so many great bands. Out there. You know, Motley Crue. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Bob Seger would be sick. ACDC. I mean, my God. I mean, Huge Bon Scott fan, you know, and Brian Johnson, and obviously ACDC would be, uh, be sick, you know. I don't think we've ever really sat down. I mean, as a kid, you dream about yeah. that, but when you get in the middle of this business, you just you just hope that you get back out on tour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 of it's, course. It's, it's pretty hard, you know. Uh -huh. it's, it, it's it's not as easy as people think it is, and, and you know, to get that luxury or that. Mm -hmm. Just for a month of touring, I mean. It's it takes work. so much just to plan for it and, and get it. And to get it is yeah. the biggest thing because the plan is once you get it, you just get the band to go. That's what we do. We just drop everything together.